Tall engineers serve their nation by breaking fences. First, they start actively adapting to the resources and second, they cast alpha granules on the ground. The initial vasoconstriction occurs due to the effect of thromboxane. The vasoconstriction is maintained during the platelet aggregation by endothelin and serotonin. Vasoconstriction is maintained during the coagulation phase by bradykinin and fibrinopeptides. Therefore, to remember this, tall engineers serve the nation by breaking fences. Platelets are enucleate fragments of megakaryocytes having a lifespan of one week. Therefore, traditionally, aspirin should be stopped a week before any surgery. But this is a fact which can be challenged and one can do a major operation even though the patient is taking aspirin in the emergency situation. When the subendothelium is exposed, von Willebrand factor binds the platelet glycoprotein to the subendothelium. The platelet aggregation occurs in two waves. The first wave of aggregation is reversible. It is mediated by serotonin, arachidonic acid and ADP. It is reversible for the reason that the metabolism of arachidonic acid leads to the formation of thromboxane and prostaglandin. The thromboxane causes platelet aggregation and vasoconstriction diametrically opposite to the effect of prostaglandin which inhibits platelet aggregation and causes vasodilatation. The second wave of aggregation is irreversible because now fibrinogen acts as a bridge in between the platelets and this action is mediated by calcium, ADB, serotonin, thromboxane and alpha granules. In the presence of calcium, there is a cell membrane change of the platelets and the calcium also causes clotting factors to bind to the platelet membrane. There is also an enzymatic activation of factor 2, 5, 7 and 10 and there is some role of activation of factor 12 and 11. Therefore, there is an activation of the extrinsic, intrinsic and common pathway in the second wave of platelet aggregation. One should remember that if there is a deficiency of one Willebrand factor, one can give a VWF concentrate. Platelet defects, either quantitative or qualitative, are treated by a platelet transfusion. Tall engineers serve their nation by breaking fences. First, they start actively adapting to the resources and second, they cast alpha granules on the ground. A pack of biscuits cost 12 rupees. But during the discount, they sell it to you for 11.98. This is so wrong because if one goes to investigate, the pack of biscuits actually cost 5 rupees. Therefore, the stores make a profit of 7 rupees. This is the intrinsic system, this is the extrinsic system, and this is the common pathway. One should remember that professional soldiers go to war outside the country and one cannot be hep and fashionable inside the country because you are afraid of the relatives therefore you are only partially stylish inside your country. This is the mnemonic to remember that when one uses warfarin it acts on the extrinsic system and prolongs the prothrombin time and the target is to increase the prothrombin time to 2.5 to 3.5 times normal. When one uses heparin it acts on the intrinsic system by prolonging the partial thromboplastin time and the target to raise it is 1.5 to 2.5 times normal. If the PT is less than 1.5 and the patient on warfarin and the PTT is less than 1.3 and the patient is on heparin, there is no risk of bleeding and it gives a safe level of anticoagulation and one can actually proceed with surgery. One should remember that thrombomodulin binds to thrombin, thereby activating protein C and S, which inactivates factor 8 and 5. Rivaroxaban acts on activated factor 10A and dabigatran acts on activated factor 2A.